guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome and if you are one of my lovely subscribers coming back thank you so much for sticking around over the last two and a half weeks where i have literally gone to the end of a cliff and fell off into the face of the earth um where do i even start okay morning guys so we have a fabulous day fashion police are gonna come and get me because I completely clashed this morning but I'm just on the way to the gym I'm froze um, and it's absolutely peeing it down outside like you can't it's still pitch black out there um, it is 25 past 6 so it's a bit later than normal this morning I've been going to the gym around 6 o'clock but this morning is a bit of a different day <laughs> because this morning I'm going to weight train as opposed to doing a class and I'm not going to lie I'm a bit nervous because um, classes are like my comfort zone but I really need to start stepping outside that if I want to see results and so today I'm going to train I'm still going to go and get it done early and then might get some cardio done but the reason is is today I'm going to go and get my Botox done as well um, so if you're new here I do get Botox I actually started getting it because it really helps with my headaches and obviously the great alter the great um, what's it called side effect of having Botox for headaches is it's helped with my wrinkles <laughs> um, but yeah my headaches have been, been back with a vengeance and um, yeah so that is booked in today um, so I'm going to take you with me for that and then I really want to pop to Primark but I have got to go cleaning today but yeah if you have Botox you're not allowed to exercise for 24 hours after so I'm going to get it done and then I'm going to get my gym done out of the way now um, but yeah I might film a bit, I might take you with me. Um, I don't know, I'm just feeling a bit um, nervous at the moment, so we'll see, but I'm procrastinating so much because I don't wanna go. I think I feel really anxious, I'm really, really anxious. But I'll be fine, I'll be fine, I'll be fine. <laughs>
guys so I've, that's really bad lighting i've just got back from cleaning and this is a really odd angle because you're just on my little tripod um but that's well, my forehead's looking like you can't tell at all now that I've had Botox. It will take like oh, up to two weeks to kick in. Um, and then you have a review and they'll put some more in if you've got any more movement. I tend to not have it so my face is frozen because it re is only really for more so for my headaches. And it's to stop me doing this because I've got such a strong frown. Can you see that V there? Um, that's what it's to stop mainly because that tension headache is really bad um so yeah hopefully that'll kick in over the next couple of weeks and the headaches will subside let's quickly tell you that home bargains was like a couple of doors down and i had a pop in but there wasn't anything amazing but i did pick up this beautiful noel sign and when i actually picked it up i was so shocked to find that it's like actual thick mdf wood it's not like i thought it was going to be like flimsy but it's nice proper wood and it's so you can paint it basically but i actually really like it plain 79p though 79 pence like i can't get over that i've got one that says merry christmas that cost me like a tenner from the range so yeah really pleased with that that's all i've got i wasn't really looking for anything i've got in for um some paracetamol ironically and um, but i just wanted to quickly tell you something because it's Friday today, and on a Friday, we get the boys at McDonald's. If they're good all week, we say it's McFriday, they can have a McDonald's. And they normally have, because they're, you know, growing kids, a 20 nugget share box to share. They have a burger, and they have fries. And so it costs me, like, six, seven pounds a week, which, <coughs> you know, I don't mind if they're good, because it's a treat. However, when I was in Aldi the other day... I noticed these. I've heard really good things about them. I can't remember exactly how they how much they were, but I'm sure it was like a pound or 150 or something. So I've picked up, say it was two pounds just to be safe, because I'm not 100 percent sure. So I've picked up two boxes of those. And then I also get these from Iceland, which is this massive bag of French fries. And these taste just like McDonald's fries. I'm not joking. So this week. Matt's just gone to go and get them. I'm just going to whack these in the oven with some French fries and I'm going to see whether I can get away with it because, you know, they kind of look very similar to McDonald's boxes. So I'm hoping that maybe I can get away with it because you just open them up and they look so similar, like identical. So yeah, and they come with two dips as well, barbecue and sweet chilli. They won't eat those, but I'll put them to one side for Matt. And yeah, I'm just going to bang these in the oven now. They take 20 minutes, so they should be done right as they turn up from school. So hopefully, I'll have saved myself a nice little bit of moolah there. But yeah, a nice little hack if you want to treat your kids to McDonald's. And I mean, I always pick it up anyway, so they never see me go. So you know little swapsies oh and also matt bought me these from tesco how nice is this it's like a little harry potter notebook um my notebook had run out and bless him he went and got me this six pounds though which i think is quite expensive but he was like oh i think that's so cheap clearly never been to home bargains before but it's the thought that counts that was lovely of him like i really really love that and he bought a gray one for himself oh, I don't know, I've just dropped he bought a gray one for himself so I think they're really, really beautiful, those are, aren't they? So if you've got any Harry Potter fans, um, yeah, Tesco, £6 each. They've got little metal bookmarks. Right, I'm going to cook the chicken nuggets because they won't be cooked if I keep rambling on. Hi guys, day is to the bear. So today I'm just going to do a general catch up with you guys um, and I'm going to raise you down in a little bit because you seem really high up but um, just to let you know where I've been, what's been going on and yeah I think it's long overdue and I do have some unboxings to do as well. I've got the glossy box and my beautiful friend Danielle's Glow Mama box to show you. Um, I also did a Poundland shop um, last week with a few Halloween bits in and a couple of Christmas things I believe as well so I'll do that in this video 
and yeah let's catch up and i'll let you know where i've been okay so that is a lot better i'm going to apologize now the kids are playing computer games downstairs the two boys they're going to get irate with each other welcome to my life thank you so much for sticking around over the last two and a half weeks where i have literally gone to the end of the cliff and fell off into the face of the earth um where do i even start okay so i got to a really bad place and i started going to the gym a lot and i don't know whether i mentioned that in the last vlog but i've been going every morning at 6 a.m i was loving life really getting um back into it and then the boys went back to school and I was really excited, looking forward to be able to create in so much more content. And then what happens, the school germs <laughs> start to appear. So Leo fell down with a little bit of a cough and a cold. He wasn't too bad, but then we had Leo, um, Lucas's flu jab, flu nasal spray thing. And he was so poorly. Um, if you are new here, you might not know, but Lucas suffers really bad with croup and we i really don't like when he gets it because as again we had to call the ambulance out so he really struggles to breathe on a night time and if you aren't aware croup is like almost where the you're breathing um like your windpipe spasms and so he can't breathe properly we generally have to either we've been into hospital a couple of times and sometimes we get the ambulance out they generally give him like um, a nebulizer and um is it a nebulizer that sounds like the thing that they <laughs> erase your memories on men in black in <laughs> but anyway that thing that they put over the face with some oxygen and they put like um it's almost like an inhaler in it isn't it um so yeah they had we had to have the ambulance out at two o'clock in the morning i was absolutely shattered i was then kind of starting to feel ill myself and but we'll get to that <laughs> and then matt goes and dislocates his shoulder and you know dislocation of a shoulder you might not think is that bad but it's actually real bad um soft tissue damage as well and doing what he does being a pt it was just not ideal because it meant he couldn't drive anywhere so i was having to do all the driving everywhere for him dropping him off to his pt appointments picking him up do the school runs there we go see told you they would start um and then obviously with all this going on i just got ill i got really ill so i had to stop going to the gym i was really dreadful i genuinely thought i had covid because i was that ill but I, it wasn't a cold or a cough though it was just like a temperature shivering and complete and utter um fatigue like i had such a headache but my fatigue was ridiculous like i would get up out of bed go downstairs and by the time i got downstairs oh i'm getting tired thinking about it by the time i'd get downstairs i was shattered i had to lie on the sofa so that was like how tired i was and it was just so hard to keep on top of me being ill with matt not really being able to do a lot and with the kids now like kind of both poorly so that was a nightmare and then <laughs> Just to put the cherry on the top of the cake. So another bit of a backstory if you are new here is about two years ago, just prior to COVID, we had a flood. We had a central heating pipe burst in our cavity in the wall. Um, and that is why we had to have the dining room, the living room. Um, luckily that was under house insurance, but then we also had to fund a new kitchen as well. So the kitchen and the utility room were finally completed. If you saw that video, it was probably about two months ago now. Um, maybe a bit longer and so it kind of broke my heart when about a week ago or just over a week Matt said to me don't go into the utility room and I was like why what's the matter I can only describe it I wish I could show you on camera but I can't show you right now um but basically we have had a flood again but this time we feel like it's a drainage issue and it has gone under the floor in the utility room and when you walk in there it just sounds like you're walking on top of a waterbed like you can literally hear the water swishing about underneath the floor and we've had the surveyor out today and they think that it's a problem with the i don't know whether it's a soil pipe or a drain pipe a, um like a storm drain 
pipe whatever it is anyway it's a big cast iron pipe and it looks like it's coming back under so in between our concrete we've got a damp proof membrane in the utility room because that is the old section of the house it's like the old outbuildings so it's just single skin concrete floor that is it so we have got insulation and damp proof membrane in there and that is where the water has gone we think like underneath the dpm and so yeah i've been a bit i don't want to get upset but i've just been really struggling with my mental health and i was doing so so well like amazing like i've got a video half filmed on it actually and then this happened and it's just really upset me because it's this close to christmas again and so for the last two christmases our house has just been upside down i don't even know how we managed christmas dinner last year um and then this year i was just really looking forward to the house being finished for once and then now we have this like a big problem which you know the good thing is is we're insured we've gone through the insurance again so far we're going to see what's going to happen but the top and bottom of it is the whole floor has got to come through the utility room we've got damp rising so all the plaster's got to come off the walls and um, the carcasses our new carcasses and new work top are probably going to have to come off i don't know what's going to happen with like that whether we're going to have to order new um yeah it's just it's only a small room in the house and we've got insurance and you know there are bigger problems out there like i am not one to sit here and complain and not realize that my problems are you know small compared to a lot but that doesn't mean that they're not valid and it doesn't mean that they don't count and it doesn't mean that my life hasn't been like again it feels like it's going to be turned upside down again because the utility room is such a small room in the house yet it's where the washing is it's where it's like a busy room isn't it and so yeah i'm just no, it's also a room that's crammed full of stuff like, do you ever find that you've like a couple of rooms in the house that are just full of stuff <laughs> so yeah that is going to be a challenge but that is where i've been in the sense of i've been ill i've been ill like literally knocked off my feet matt's dislocated his shoulder we've had two poorly children lucas has been really poorly again and then the utility room flood so it's just literally been one thing after the other and I never, I always, I don't want to come on and moan because I don't want to feel, come across negative. With everything that was going on, I didn't feel very well and then my anxiety was through the roof because with me, once I miss like a week of YouTube, I start to panic then. I start to think, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm physically scared to go back because I just feel like, I don't know, it's just my own inner demons, isn't it? But yeah, I thought I would ramble on for you, do you a story time, tell you exactly what's been going on. Um, I think there probably is more, but I'm going to leave it for another day because I've gone on for like 11 minutes now. So I'm going to have to try and squidge this down. And then also, um, what else has been going on? I've got some unboxings to do. Like I say, I've done a Poundland haul um, and so thank you to everybody who bought glow up lashes i will get back to everybody in the comments on that video it's just again since that video it's just gone been horrendous but it's also been really busy as well with glow up i've sold out of the lashes i've just put i put another order in it's been two weeks ago since i made the order um so i'm hoping that they're going to be in for mid-november which will mean that they're perfect timing for christmas okay so i'll start with the glow mama box again always beautiful inside i'll show you exactly what's in here this month oh, i don't know what these even are but they look like they might be for the are they for the bath maybe oh could look in the leaflet couldn't i i think these are to go in to like your bath maybe to make it pretty you got rose petals and like some oranges in there which is very seasonal As always we have a tea this is the yorkshire gold tea and i actually really want to try this because i've heard that there's nothing better than yorkshire tea and i am a fat, like a really big tea drinker so yeah then we've got nourish and nature organic and vegan botanicals and this is 
Oh, here we go. Escape the autumn nights with nourishing natures, Valencia bath milk and real rose petals. So these go together then. These are for the bath. See, if I'd have just read the leaflet, then <laughs> would have helped. Then we also got the Figs and Rouge Hydromat Pore Correct Velvet Cream, which I love the sound of. This packaging is so nice. I've seen this brand in the box before. We've then got some Take 5 Glow Mama Natural Soy Candle. Oh, so this must be her own candle. Oh, that's gorgeous. Real, like, spa smell. Then we've got Emery Nails Matte Nail Polish. Do you know what? I love that everything Danielle does in this box, it's all, like, colour coordinated. Like, everything that's not going to focus. Focus. Like everything in the box is colour coordinated. It always looks so nice. Love the packaging on these. It's a lovely colour. And then finally, Green and Black's Organic White Chocolate. Danielle always puts a snack in there and I just love it. I always love the makeup of her box. Like you get a tea, you get a snack and then you get all the amazing products. Emery Nails has also put like a little card in here for all the different colours they do. So yeah, I really love that box, Danielle. Really, really love it. As always, um, I will leave my link and code below for you to get your first box mega, mega cheap. So definitely worth a try and it's supporting a small business. So I like to get Danielle's done first. So I'm just gonna put the boys to bed and then I will open up the glossy box and finish it off downstairs just for a change of scenery. Now the kids have come upstairs. <laughs> do your children ever do that? You're like, don't go upstairs, I'm gonna go upstairs and, and film. And then they follow me upstairs. And bless them, I love them to bits, but give mama a break. <laughs> Hi guys, so it's actually like the next day now. This vlog is all over the place, but that's literally my life right now. I've gotta wash all my fake tan off, <laughs> so please ignore that. Um, I was testing some of my fake tan the other day, and um, that's the kids' tea um just to check a batch and um put the ultimate dark on and didn't realize how pale i actually was so yeah i've got to get that off anyway i digress i thought i would show you quickly a couple of things that i bought from primark for primark no poundland for um halloween for the boys because um it's halloween soon and if i don't do it now then halloween will have been gone um, I've only had a couple of things. Actually, there's some things for Christmas in here as well. For Halloween, we'll just start with that. I've got them some of these um, eyeball chocolate things. In all, if honesty, you'd probably get them cheaper in home bargains. Um, and I also got them these Halloween marshmallow. Again, Poundland, but probably cheaper at home bargains. Um, I then also picked up these spiderweb placemats which i thought are really awesome for halloween day for like the dinner and um, these were a pound for two and again these can be kept so i was really pleased to pick them up and then i also got them one of these each like a little flashing ghost if you can see from there but they had like a pumpkin a ghost and something else but they were a pound so i got them one each and then for Christmas, I picked up a couple of things for Christmas as well. I actually picked them up one of these each, which is a letter writing to Santa set. Um, it's got like a door hanger on, some letters. Uh, it's got a pencil with a rubber on and an envelope and a sticker sheet. So I thought the kids would love those. I got them one each of those. And then for me, for decorating, I got some of these. Now, some people might think these are a bit tacky, but I think that these would look lovely on the window in the front. Um, in the living room so they are basically like paper snowflakes and i'm almost certain my friend jess did something with these last year where she like hung them above i don't know whether it's like a breakfast bar in a hall or somewhere i can't remember but i do remember doing something pretty with them so i picked up picked up two packs of those there's three in a pack um yeah so a bit of christmas sneaking in uh, like i say i probably completely missed the boat and everything nobody cares about halloween and fall anymore or autumn anymore everybody's like christmas mad and i'm still living in 1992 clearly <laughs> i just haven't had time my feet haven't hit the ground um but finally as promised i've got my glossy box 
and I really wanted to show this to you because I don't know if there's any more of these available now but it's beautiful really really beautiful so this month is the magical masquerade and um, which is this stunning box now I'm pretty sure you either get the red one or the silk dinner the red the red one or the silver one but the reason I'm so excited about this bass bah, 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 box oh gosh I can't get my word is because there's some elamasqua products in here and I love the elamasqua highlighter so I'm very I'm looking forward to that let's hope it's in there um so you get first of all a little mask which you can put elastic on and and poke yourself in the eye one of them um and then it's really lovely like red and black Oop. and then it's really lovely red and black inside and then we have this one i thought that said something else then i thought it said boob lube <laughs> but it doesn't it says boob tube grab your melons body lotion so i think this will be yeah from the copper feel so in your boobs for lumps and um, that's nice it's melons body lotion i don't think i can quite smell that then we have the s-bar eucalyptus and tea tree cleansing hand spray that sounds nice because everybody's hands are so sore at the moment aren't they and it's coming into that season as well isn't it where everyone has like dry chapped hands so that's nice we also have the St. Lux Setting Spray. Ooh, let's have a look. So that's what that one looks like. I do love a setting spray. I just never go anywhere. That's such a shame. However, I do have something coming up, which is very exciting, which, you know, I might get let out for once in, once this year. Um, and then what else have we got in here? We have spotlight highlighter pencil oh that's nice it's like a exactly what it says on the tin <laughs> it's a highlighter pencil in color champ champagne does it say yeah color champagne there's that little pencil in there and then finally what i've been waiting for the Ida masqua lip power natural matte liquid lipstick and yeah i've been really looking forward to try this because like i say i love the highlighter and it really lasts um as in like the product really lasts i've had it for like it's got to be coming up to two years now because i had it in the beauty works not beauty works i had it in the beauty expert advent calendar anyway so this oh gonna keep bleeping until i go and get it that is anyway so look at that isn't that beautiful it's got like an ombre black to red and <clears throat> i love a red lip perfect in time for christmas Let's see if i can do it in here ignore my skin i've got no makeup on i look pale as anything i've got to find it first Oh my gosh. That is red. How bizarre is that? Don't judge me with no mirror. how red is that it's like um it looks a bit orangey red in cat on the camera but it doesn't look that obviously i've got no other makeup on my face so it's probably not the best way of showing it you but it's a really bright red that is perfect for christmas and it's drying matte can you see just makes me look really pale because i've scrubbed all the tan off my face um so yeah that's what you get in this month's glossy box so if you can get your hand on one i really do like this box 
Um, some boxes can be hit and miss, but I love this one because I like all the product. Obviously, Julia, but I do actually like all the products in this one. Um, the only thing I'm a bit unsure on is this like highlighter pencil, like what I would use it for. I suppose you could use it for like in the in a corner there, maybe of your eye to like make it pop. This is the worst like example ever. <laughs> I can't even see what I'm doing, but yeah. I'll still give it a go. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed catching up today. And um, like I say, I'm so sorry. I've just been so all over the place. And I hope that I've filled in where I've been. And um, we did go pumpkin picking on the weekend. Um, so I have got some footage of that, which I will probably put up just so I've got it as a memory. I was going to put it in this vlog, but um, I think I've just gone on way too much. And then we are carving our pumpkins over the next couple of days. So... I could potentially put it in another vlog somewhere. Um, but I better go and get the boys dinner. So thank you ever so much for watching. And I'm so sorry I've been AWOL. And thank you so much to everybody who's messaged or stuck around. I've just been completely off. The, I've literally fell off the face of the earth. And um, I've got such anxiety coming back. Because I always worry so much. But... I have the best people here so thank you ever so much and normal content will be resuming i have a fall haul coming on fall haul it is an autumn haul because i'm from the uk but you know fall haul sounds good coming on wednesday um i might try and get that up tomorrow actually because again i'm a little late to the party um and then i have actually planned most of my videos for christmas for vlogmas um and then i have yeah, I have quite a few, quite a bit filmed actually. So hopefully I'll be back now. And um, yeah, uh, do you know what though? I'm not going to say that because every time I say I'm back, something happens. So hopefully you will see me very soon. Okay. So until next time, guys, take care. Bye. Forever. I watch you as you drive. Do you know I'm looking?